This week on Tech Stuff Tuesday, why are port SPL numbers so high? And why they don't really matter for anything else that has to do with audio. So this is our setup. Uh, we have two MF Audio YOLO V2 Prototype 12s. This is our very small long port enclosure, America 12K. And initially what we're gonna test here is we've got the sensor on the windshield up there. And we're gonna take a power level, say 2000 watts, get an SPL reading, and then we're gonna put that in the port on the same 2000 watts. And we're gonna see what happens and we're going to explain why. We've got this set up, laptop is sitting on the roof so it's probably gonna move around a little bit. But we're gonna ramp up power, take that same power level and apply that to the port. All right, so we're just under 2,000 watts, so I'm gonna aim for about 1,900 watts when we do it in the port here. I ran out of volume on my knob there, so I couldn't tweak it out to 2,000. But there we have a 153.2 at 1,916 watts. So now we're gonna take the sensor and put it in the port. Okay, so now we move the sensor in the port, and we're gonna see what kind of difference we get on the same power at the same frequency the car is set up the same exact way, uh, so we'll have a, a direct comparison. So there you have that. 1,929 watts, so just a few watts more. 169.7. So, why did we gain so much? Let's look at the box for that. So why do we see a 16 dB gain metering in the port? Well, this is the sensor. It's measuring a differential in pressure from the atmospheric pressure to the pressure that's been generated. Does all the math on that, and that's how you get your SPL reading. Uh, that's why this style versus a microphone uh, is affected less by temperature and that kind of thing because it's not a, an actual diaphragm like a microphone uh, that can get stretched out uh, where it needs recalibrating frequently. Uh, so that's going to be a little more consistent because the differential of pressure. But what is happening here is we have the enclosure. That's a very small space. And contrary to what many believe, ports don't just push air. It's actually resonating air. So there's air coming in and out. So as uh, you're playing, if you watch it in slow motion, you'll actually see something at the port moving this way, not just straight out. Uh, initially, you might have a surge and that you know might get uh, to where there's some turbulence uh, to where it might kind of blow it out. But on the whole, it's, uh, it's just going to suck it in and out. So all that is, is resonating here. The same thing can be demonstrated if you take like a, a, a soda bottle or something like that with any amount of fluid, blow air across the top of it, you'll have one tone and then change the amount of liquid in it and you'll get a different tone. That's exactly how these work. So this is actually a Hemmelholtz resonator, which is what these ports actually are. So we have an enormous amount of pressure here and all of that air is being agitated, resonating through here, and that's what's giving us the tuning and the sound that you hear. So in the car, in the cabin, we're taking all of this pressure, it's resonating, it's coming out into a much larger volume. Therefore, we can't generate as much pressure because these are still what's generating all the sound and all the pressure, but it's doing it in a much, much larger area than the enclosure itself. There are other things that you can do if you're trying to achieve a better port number is you can actually tailor it to that. The box might be even smaller or the ports might be slightly different, uh, increasing velocity. There's a number of things you can do if you were just going to meter for the port. This is not one of those things. So 
there's a big, big difference in the score in the port and on the dash. And I know there's a lot of people that every time they see a score, it might be on the dash or in the kick, that they think is just way too good to be true. The first thing they do is say, that's a port score. Well, as you can tell, there is 16 dB difference at near 2,000 watts in this particular application. It might be slightly more in others. Odds are it's not going to be much less. Um, every time I've taken a port number or anything like that, it's much, much higher. Anywhere between 15 and 20 dB higher uh, in the box than it is in the car. Uh, another consideration with walls. If you actually take a ported wall, and I'm not sure about a bandpass wall, probably applies the same way. It's actually quieter in the box than it is um, outside of the box sometimes. Or it's a very, very close number inside the box as it is to the dash. Uh, so even then, you can't even say, well, that's a port score. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already for all of our latest Tech Stuff Tuesday videos. Shop all of your car audio needs on emfcaraudio.com. And I'll see you again on another Tech Stuff Tuesday.